Hi, we are the Gummy Bears. Welcome to our experience sharing webinar. Our team is a first Lego League or FLL robotics team established in 2019. We currently have six team members. Arjun, Jaden, Bella, Leo, Allison, and myself, Mia, in grades seven through eight from Massachusetts. In the past three seasons, we won several awards during the state and world's competitions and had a lot of fun. We want to share what we learned with you so you can have a jumpstart on the amazing journey of the FLL challenge. We'll post all the presentations on our team website after the webinar. You will receive the link through email. Hi, we are the Gummy Bears, and today we are going to be sharing our experience with the Innovation Project in FLL. The Innovation Project is where the FLL team comes up with an innovative solution using science and technology for a real world problem. The solution can either be a completely new idea or an application of an existing idea. It is good to have a prototype or model to demonstrate your solution. You can use robotics technology for your innovation project, but you don't have to. Every year, there will be a theme for the innovation project. For example, in 2021, the theme was Cargo Connect. I will provide a few examples in the coming slides. For 2021, the theme was Cargo Connect. We identified a problem related to transportation efficiency. We found that truck delivery is inefficient in our community, where houses are close to each other, and we designed an aerial delivery system as shown in the picture. It was more, a more efficient method because it reduces the time the drivers take, reduced the carbon footprint that the trucks produce, and improves safety of the neighborhood, since trucks don't need to go in anymore. We also built a robot to demo the system. My teammate will show you the details later. During the 2020 season, we were given the challenge to help promote physical fitness. It happened to be during the pandemic shutdown, so we designed an app for elementary schoolers that let them share how long they exercised to earn prizes. The app uses free Google tools that elementary schoolers have daily access to so that they can log their daily exercise and compete as a team. We also themed the app to have four different stages, and kids would exercise to progress along different storylines. We taught our school principal who decided to use this app to launch a fitness program in school. 183 students and teachers signed up and we were glad to see that our solution greatly encouraged physical exercise during the difficult time of the pandemic. So what makes a good project? Of course, a groundbreaking idea would be great, but I want to clarify that that is not the most important. You can still get a good score if you follow the engineering design process and rubrics. The engineering design process consists of eight parts. Define, identify, brainstorm, select, prototype, test, iterate, and communicate. Sometimes you may need to iterate among some steps to refine your idea. Also, one crucial component is experts. You have to talk to some experts and modify your solution based on their feedback. Next, my teammate will talk about the rubrics. This is the project rubric. There are five subjects that the judges are looking for, and they will give you a rating of one to four for each. The subjects are identify, design, create, iterate, and communicate. The ratings are beginning, developing, accomplished, and exceeds. Beginning and developing, you need to make some more improvements to your idea and judges will write comments on what you could have done better at. Accomplished is when you reach the judges' expectations, which is really good. Exceeds is very rare, and you only get it when you go over the judges' expectations. So don't be disappointed if you get a three, because that is already amazing. Here is an example of a season timeline with some tips along the way to help you enhance your innovation project. For the season, it is best if you do some research to familiarize yourself with the topic of the innovation project. This way, you can have a better understanding of what current solutions to the season's problem are, and you can see what needs to be improved with them, or possibly new ideas that could be implemented. When you think you understand enough of the topic, try to think of some possible solution ideas. Don't try to judge your ideas. When you have them, just write them down, since they might actually be useful. Once you're done, Take a look at what your teammates thought of. Maybe they thought of a great idea and you want to incorporate some elements of it into the final solution. You can also give feedback to your teammates and in the end, your team can either do a vote or combine the elements you like from each idea to create your final project idea. 
If you have decided on an idea, then you can start modeling how it would look like. Preferably, you can make a physical model, but drawing is also fine to show how your system would work. To help you with improving your project, you can ask experts to help you. These experts can range from your parents to even college professors, as long as they are knowledgeable in the topic you are looking into. Use the experts' feedback to help improve your project solutions. Sometimes, you might need to change your entire solution, and if you do, you might want to take some pictures of your old solution so that you can show the judges how your solution has evolved over time. When you feel like you are almost done, you can start working on your project presentation to show your project to the judges. Check the project rubric and make sure your presentation hits all the rubric subjects. After you create your presentation, try to memorize it and practice it so that there are no breaks. You could try putting on a skit to demonstrate your solution, but make sure that it is under 5 minutes. Also, you can invite your parents over to ask questions about your solution. This can help you prepare for your judging session, so the judges will clarify their understanding of your project. As my teammate mentioned, you need to do a lot of research throughout the season. But how to do research exactly? I'm sure your coaches can help you out, but here is how we do it. Firstly, always start with Google. Through a Google search, you can find Wikipedia and other relevant articles and YouTube videos about your topic. Read through those and also the references. Secondly, use reliable sources. To check if your source is reliable, find the organization who wrote the article to see what they do and if other people cite their work too. Lastly, write reports. Write your findings and ideas as reports and share them with your team. Remember to cite your sources. Your reports can be written as presentations or articles. Don't feel too bad if you still don't know how to do it or can't find the information you need. It took us a couple of seasons to learn that too. And don't hesitate to ask for help from grown-ups around you or even us. We'll share our contact information at the end of this presentation. After you worked out a solution, the next thing you should focus on is designing a prototype. It can be a physical prototype or a drawing as long as it gives a main idea of how your solution will work. For the Cargo Connect season, we use PVC pipes and an EV3 robot to make our prototype that gives a basic idea how our solution would deliver packages. In City Shaper, we made our prototype using mainly cardboard to make a city where our idea was meant for. It wasn't a functional prototype, but at least it could show what our idea looked like. Even after you think you've worked out your project, there's always something you can do to improve it. You should think of possible problems with the solution and get feedback to iterate your project. You can improve your prototype, find out more details about your solution, or try to solve cons of your project. For example, for our season of Cargo Connect, we changed the prototype a lot. Our original prototype was very unbalanced, so we improved it. Later, we then improved the mechanism of the robot's demo and decorated the prototype to make it more pleasing. Throughout the season, experts will help you a lot. They are professionals on the topic you are researching, and they can help give you feedback on your solution. Also, they can help you get in touch with other experts or maybe even the companies they work for. You can share your idea with them and increase your project's impact. Talking to people you know can sometimes find you experts. For example, last season, one of our team members told his writing teacher about our project it turns out, her husband was an engineer at Amazon. It was perfect because that season, the challenge was to find a way to improve delivery efficiency. Contacting experts through email is one of the easiest methods to get in touch with one. When writing the emails, you want to be clear about what you need help with, and normally people will be more likely to respond when they see an idea they feel interested in. Also, make sure to be concise, polite, and stay flexible in terms of time and place to meet. When presenting your solution, you can either make slides or use a more fun format. This year, for our project, we decided to make a play so that it would be more exciting to watch. During your presentation, try to wear an interesting outfit to make the presentation more entertaining and memorable. Since our team is called the Gummy Bears, we decided to wear hats with gummy bear ears on top of it. Also, make sure to show team spirit. Some ways you can do this is by doing a team chant or song. In addition, when making your presentation, make sure you follow the rubrics so you can hit all the points the judges are looking for. 
Lastly, there is also a time limit of five minutes, so make sure you don't go over it. If you do, the judges will cut you off and you won't get to finish your presentation. To prepare for judging session questions, your team should first look at the rubric of that year to see what is expected for, of you. If you have done FLL in the past, you can practice with the questions that your team has received before. If not, you should expect questions on the design of your idea or prototype, the development process of your idea, your research, and who your idea impacts. There are more examples on the next slide. Have your coach ask you the questions and then write down your answers. This is a good way to practice. Also, make sure you don't talk over your teammates while answering questions. If multiple people start talking at once, let the person who hasn't talked as much go. And the most important part of the judging session is to have fun. The judges just like to see that you're enjoying yourselves. Here are some more examples of the amazing judging session questions. Did you meet with any experts? Did they help you? What did they help you with? For example, did they help you find the problem? Did they give you any feedback on your solution, etc.? What is unique about your solution? Why is your solution better than others? By that, they mean, why is your solution the most awesome solution ever? What are some problems you face while creating your solution? This is a good one because it shows the judges how you work through your problems. How did you come up with this solution? To answer this, you may want to describe your research process and how you narrowed down the ideas to the solution you're presenting. That's all we want to share right now. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at flllgummybears at gmail.com. Good luck in your season. But keep in mind, having fun is the most important, not winning. Thank you.